First of all, congratulations to all of our players tonight on excellent seasons, and congratulations on being uh, named an all-star for your team. Uh, for those of you that uh, are moving on from grade 12 this year, best of luck with, uh, with everything that you do moving forward, and congratulations on great high school careers. And for those of you who would be in grade 10 or 11, uh, best of luck uh, next season at your schools. Just before we give out uh, a few of our all-star awards, uh, I just wanted to recognize, uh, first of all, our guest coaches tonight. Uh, I'd like to recognize Tanya McCabe from Dalhousie University. And Madison Doucette from King's College. I think it's uh, great that our coaches tonight uh, have invested in our local basketball scene or, and are willing to put in time to meet all the girls and, uh, and volunteer their time. So thank you very much for everything you're doing tonight. Thank you. Uh, we're going to give out some all-star awards, uh, so when we call your name, if you could come up to receive your award. Uh, first of all, from Halifax West, Maria Davignon. <laughs> Ali McLean. <laughs> from Armory Academy. Sasha Neb. <laughs> Lily Francois. <laughs> From Dartmouth High School, Ivy Hodder. <laughs> Ellie Boyd. From Charles P. Allen, Sarah Millard. <laughs> Aaliyah Brunt. <laughs> From Lockview, Nora Lawrence. <laughs> Avery McFarland. From Bayview, Kate Oshepko. Lisa Snow. Um, we could, yeah. So, I have a, I have a wireless mic here. We can go out and do it wherever. From Halifax Grammar, Ella Hoyt. Molly Sankton. <laughs> From Sackville High School, Jada Ewalt. <laughs> Ennis Elias. From Cole Harbor High School, Evie Hargraves. <laughs> Violet Langel. <laughs> From Woodlawn High School, Kiri Moore. <laughs> Sarah Miller. From Jay Lilsley, Marin Klein. <laughs> Maddie Webb. <laughs> From
from Millwood High School, Abigail Kohler. <laughs> Nova Lapine. Yeah. Uh, Cyril High and Auburn, I believe, are possibly stuck in traffic, so when they arrive, uh, we'll possibly do those maybe at halftime. Um, before we get the game going, um, every year we give out league awards, and we'd like to do those now before the game begins. Uh, so first of all, the league rookie of the year this year from C.P. Allen High School, Rui Choi. Player of the Year, Ava McNutt from Halifax West. <laughs> and this year's League MVP, Olivia Logan from Halifax West. All right, congratulations, everybody. Uh, good luck with the game.
all, all the stars are out. Yes, sir. Hoping to see a good game today. Lots of effort from both teams. We got Ava McNutt and Olivia Logan doing the jump ball. And we're get, let's get underway. All right, number Here comes four. Rui. The ball's moving well early in the game. This purple team coming out gunning. Here comes Peyton Ochipko to Bayview High. Looks up to Nora Lawrence. Miss Q there. Like the pace that these girls are playing at though early. Both squads. Allie McLean with the ball. David McKnight hits Sarah Mallard. Rui gets it back, swings to Amac. Amac looking to get the first two points. Here comes Olivia Logan. Metro League MVP. Nora, I believe Nora Lawrence with the shot. Allie McLean brings it up. Ball's moving fast. Nice. Good action. Here comes Peyton Oshipko leading the break. Swings it over to Olivia Logan. I like how her and Ava McNutt are matching up. Yeah, I like that as well. You don't really get to see that too much with them both being on the west. Lily Francois hits Peyton Oshipko. Strong take. A little bit of All contact right, there, yeah. but refs are letting them play. I like that. Shoot that. Let's it go. Still looking for our first bucket. There it is. There it is. Sarah Mallard for two. So what are we expecting to see from this game today, uh, Coach Trevor? Honestly, just looking to see the girls have, having a lot of fun out there. Um, you know, everybody's going to be – I, I expect to see the benches rolling. Coaches are going to get everybody in, probably five on, five off type action. So everybody's going to be working. Legs will be fresh. Great pace so far. Yeah, I like, how, I, like, I like how this game's starting out. Girls are looking to play hard, looking to play D. Ball's moving. What more can you ask for? And that is Marin, I believe. Out yes, the from Oda. Pushing, pushing the rock. Oda JL with the shot. Rui retreats out, swings it over to Amac. Screen action. Amac looks to set the pin down for Ooh, nice pass. Sarah Mallard. It won. And one. Ava McNutt with the and one. That ball is wheeling around Coach Courtney right now. We I, got, agree. You, you I agree. I agree. Look at that energy so far. Tic tac toe. I don't know if that fouls on Lily or Nora. Nice. Ava McNaught, reigning defensive player of the year for Metro League. Yeah, looking to get after it, guarding Olivia Logan right now. I love and this matchup. Rui with the defensive board. Looking to slow things down. Low. Sizing up Lily Francois, but there's Lily Francois. He, she's always going to be moving those feet. This is my first time seeing a lot of these girls up close. Yeah, no, lots of action, lots of parody in the league. And that is Shaw with the take. Lisa, Lisa Shaw. Yeah, let's push it, push it, yep. Nice strong take Hey, good Lily. take by Lily. Really love how Lily Francois uses the body to create that space. I agree. Nice little easy kiss off the glass, very pretty finish. Sarah Mauer, we know she is willing to let it go. Good shot. There's, love the patience there. She's familiar with these rims. Very, yeah. <laughs> Good cut. Oh. Oh. All right, we're going to see some subs coming in here soon. Also, we've been remiss to, to acknowledge uh, Coach Tanya from Dalhousie, coaching the purple team. And I see Coach Carla Yepes over there on her bench with her. Then we've got uh, Coach Madison 
of Kings and congratulations to to coach as they won the uh, ACA title this year at Kings. So All lots, right, Ella Hoyt. They're well coached right now. Ooh. Nice bucket. Wasting absolutely no time. Maria pushing the pace. Good fight, good fight. Yep, let's push it. Avery is coming in, playing with energy. Two, nice four quick. Take. That's a quick four for Avery McFarland out of uh, Lockview, out I of do Lockview, believe. Okay. Yeah, Lock, she's a Lock, I believe she's a Lockview Dragon. Nice pass from Maria Davignon. Let's it go. The bank, bank is open. The bank is open. Open absolutely for Ellie. Oh, to Dartmouth hot. Uh oh. Sash going to work in the paint. Yeah, Sash getting busy early. Sash with some flash. And she's in the passing lanes. Let's go, Maria. Molly Sanko with the ball. Sarah Miller got her hand on that, though. Deflected it out. It's Ella, oh. Uh oh, Maria diving on. Gonna shoot it. Oh, good defense there. Good heads up pass from Maria getting it to Cortea. Cortea scored, but just not on time. Good action so far. Midway through the first quarter, 13-7. Oh, oh, okay. It's a girl, lovely take. Lovely finish, nice and poised on there. That is uh, Ivy Hotter out of uh, Oh, to Dartmouth High. Can't convert, but here comes Sasha Neal. Ooh! Look the, looking to hook up with Ella. She got another. Let in that her. fly, yep. Oh. Yep. Sasha Neal raising up to get the defensive board, now looking to push the break. Nice quick advance to Ella Hoyt. Oh, a nice corner kick. And here's Ivy. Ooh, hey. okay, there we go. Ivy Hodder with five quick points yeah, in this all Yeah, making her presence so far. Yeah, we got a couple gunslingers out of Dartmouth High here, Courtney. Yeah, um, I'm excited to see some of these girls up close. Some of them you've heard their names throughout the season, but haven't really got the chance to see them play. But liking what I'm seeing so far. Maybe. Oh, Sarah oh. Miller looked to hit Ivy on that cut. It was a good idea. I liked that. I liked what she saw there. Uh -oh. oh, nice fader, Ooh. okay. Squeeze it. That was a lovely fade away. Though it didn't drop. Called. Okay. For Jada Awalt from Team Orange. Ooh. It was almost, dare I say, Kobe-esque with the footwork there. Yeah, it was nice. Okay, Cortea with the ball, representing Auburn. Uh-oh, Dartmouth High is showing out right now. Here comes Avery from Lockview, nice strong take. take. Nice take. Six points for her in this game now. Oh, oh okay. the step through. Lovely, lovely footwork from uh, Molly Sancton. I like the idea. Or the oh, grammar. With the interception, yep. We've seen Maria, that before. Maria diving on. Oh, good, uh, great idea. And there, there it is. Go. There we go. There it is. Great, great lead bounce pass by Maria diving on to Molly Sancton with the finish. Oh, two teammates going out one another, the DHS girls. 
That's the fun part. It's nice to see the girls from, from the same schools going at each other, having fun, competing, Definitely. pushing Ooh, each nice other. Woo. Great cut as well by Corte. Just was unable to finish her breakfast on that one, but love the way that she moves off on slices and dices. Uh-oh. All right. And we get a timeout. Oh, no, no, no timeout. Subs. I think we're we just go. getting the platoon swap here. Yeah. Two minutes and 13 seconds left in the first. We got 20 of the nine for Team Purple. Get to, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sersha McDonald is getting, getting ready some jewelry. Here we have another De Citadel matchup right now. We got Riley matching up with Sersha as they check in. Good steal, yep. Comes Let's Riley Nolan pushing the ball. Dribble handoff to Aaliyah, Aaliyah Brunt. Olivia Logan back to Aaliyah Brunt. She's gonna look to be aggressive. Good shot. C2 to your point earlier about Sarah Mallard. C2 notes, very familiar with these rims. With a nice touch. Orange make, looking to make a push back. I like how they're coming in with intensity playing D. Yep, that ball's moving too. Olivia Logan looking to go at her matchup. Oh, and there's a foul called on Leah Brunt, I believe. Yes, on Leah Brunt. And over the years when I see in this game, the, the, the referees typically, you know, tend to let the girls play, have some fun in the All-Star game, but at the same time, gotta, we got a lot of competitive girls on the floor, so you got to definitely manage that situation with the calls and the lovely Ooh, step through. Okay. Love the footwork there. Let's talk about some of our special guests we got coming on today. Yeah, so we got Chaz Samuel coming in. We're going to chit chat about it, you know his training program and the progression that he's made with that. It's been it's been uh, quite the ascent for him um, over the years. So. Hap, you know, he's an incredible trainer. Definitely has his fingerprints. Nice a dude. lovely take. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt that thought. That's an incredible take by Olivia Logan. But um, yeah, no, Chaz definitely has his thumbprints on a lot of the kids here in this game. So it'd be good to ha hear his thoughts on 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 this and the year, and hear his story a bit. And we also have Courtney Donaldson out of uh, St. Mary's from the back-to-back -back champion St. St. Mary's Huskies coming in the chat. So. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a fun night. Yeah, excited to hear from both of them. Olivia Bryant bottled up a bit. Here comes Olivia. She's looking to get that off. Ooh. Yep. And that's it for the first quarter. Great first quarter so far. Love the intensity from both teams. Yeah, it's fun, man. Like I said, like, pace is good. Kids are coming out to play hard. They're not, you know. Yeah. All right, so shortly we're going to hear from our first guest, Mr. Chaz Samuel. All right, yeah, so want to welcome Chaz, Chaz Samuel to the broadcast. We, we, we got him here joining us now in the booth. Uh, and uh, yeah, how are you doing, Chaz? No problem, we're happy to have you, man. What do you think of the action so far in the game? No, I think it's awesome, I love to see it. I love to see it. the girls out here look amazing. Really awesome talent, lots of talent. Really excited to be, to be a part of this. 
No, for sure. And I really want to give credit to guys like you, like coaches that you, like you that put in the work, put in the skill development. You can definitely see it in the court. So it's a testament to the to the great coaching as well. Nah, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. So, as we, as you know, you guys, I'm from originally from Antigua. So, when I first moved here, I didn't know anyone. So, it's definitely your grind. But one thing I'll say is that I definitely appreciate the love and the support that the Haligonians um, um, give. It started off slow, one client at a time. And initially, with the social media, I started it because uh, I wanted to get to know, know, know more people because I didn't know anyone. And really quickly, it kind of just went a bit viral. And the kids love the workouts. The kids love to see the videos so they can see what they got to improve on. And it just kept going. And now here we are uh, a few years later, and it's getting bigger and bigger. So I really appreciate that. That's amazing, Chaz. You mentioned Antigua, and then, um, as, a, as you know, we, we spoke about this before, it's, that's actually where my father's from as well. So I have that same Antigua connection. So throughout, the, throughout my life, I've to and from there a, few, a number of times and definitely have been on a few ball courts down there yeah. in my youth. So, you know, I got to know, like, really, what's, what's, what's going on with the ball scene down there right now? Oh, uh, yeah, man, that's awesome. So, Antigua, we got a lot of talent, as you know. Lots of talent, lots of great height. They work hard. But I think the only issue that we're having right now is that, as you know, it's not as developed as Canada. So in terms of the facilities, we don't have any indoor courts or any um, floor wooden courts. But um, other than that, I think the personality, the work ethic, everything else is there. You just now get the facilities, the great coaching. So we, we've been chopping it up a bit, and I definitely think it would be great for us to go back sometime and give back to the youths down there. I think they need it, and they'll be very appreciative of it. Of it. I would absolutely love that, man. That's actually a dream come true for me. Yeah. And yeah, like speak to like you know, we got a couple, we got a couple names that in the league or that have come through the league. You know, there's Speedy Claxton, we got yeah. Shane Gilbert out there. And yeah. what, do you, what, what, what do you have to say for that? No, it's just a testament to uh, what the Caribbean can bring um, to the big stage. You know, like it's just beautiful and it's just a proud moment to see those guys coming from a small, small country still making it to the to the biggest biggest stage. Because I think sometimes like. Coming from a small um, country, sometimes we kind of limit ourselves and think that we will never get to, let's say, the NBA. And I think my dream when I was younger is to get to the NBA. I didn't make it, but I had the dream. So seeing like Kemba Walk and those greats, it shows that it's possible, you know? So. Have you seen the videos online? Let's talk about the new space that you're building. It looks yeah. amazing. It's always good to have more options to the kids go work Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. No, for sure. So when I started this journey, like, the five-year plan was to, like, build an indoor facility. And I'll be honest, my first vision was trying to do it in Antigua because that's where I'm from. But things happen, and, like, I really enjoy being here, and I call here my second home. So I'm trying to build a spot here, and it all started because I've got, a, like, a lot of clients, a lot of kids reaching out saying things like, I need space to train, like the gym facilities, as we all know, is getting booked up really quickly. The basketball community is growing at a rapid pace over in Nova Scotia, so there's not much facilities to accommodate all the athletes that want to put in the work. So I said to myself, I'm going to take that risk. It was a long journey, but I'm going to try it and see if I can open up a small space where athletes can come. I'm trying to do it where if you want to come at 1 o'clock in the night, 2 o'clock. If you want time to put in work, you can always get a facility to train. So that's the goal behind of it, and I think if we do that, the, the basketball um, skill and the talent will just keep increasing. And um, for the people watching online, where can they find you at on social media? Plug all your stuff. Yeah, no, for sure. So my social is ndo.fitness with three S's. You can find me there. You can also feel free to send me a message on Instagram. Uh, I try my best to respond as much as possible, but also with the new facility, we're planning to do a website where you can just go on the website and book whatever's available. So if you want a group session or one-on-one -on -one session, we'll have different programs. If you want to book the whole court, we'll have various options, making it easy for the, for the clients and customers to get access to the facility whenever they want. You know? yeah, okay. 
and Coach Trav, we definitely got to get back. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on my guide, Coach Trav, to get back to Antigua so we can put some work in with the talent down there. Yeah. I definitely think it's yeah. it's a great opportunity, and the kids will definitely definitely appreciate it. Nah, man, now that that's out the universe. One, 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 one thing, thing to do, we just gotta make it happen. Yeah, right? no, for sure. Yeah. So, for sure, for sure. Oh, and, um, just, you know, also, so, we, we watch you train, train jazz, 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 jazz at all levels. We see you working with the, the young elementary age kids, junior high age kids, um, high school, university, pro, what have you. So, just interested to hear before we, before you go your, your uh, perspective on what three attributes do you think would be very important for a high school, a high level high school player to, to encompass? Question, if I had to answer that question, I would say, I think the first thing would be very important, sacrifice. Um, I think we're all young and like the athletes are very young, so I find when we're that age, sometimes we want to put other things in place before the basketball. So for example, we want to go hang out with our friends, we want to play video games all night. But if you really have a dream and you have a goal to make it far in this, in sports in general, I think really early you have to make a sacrifice and say okay these are the things i'm going to put focus on basketball school obviously first important um, but you have to make sure that you have um in place that you can stay committed another thing would be timing and balance i think speaking for myself as well one thing i realized really early doing this is that if you're not balanced you don't have balance it's going to be a long journey i just recently had a um a baby and it's really showing me that <laughs> if you don't set a strict time schedule, the day will go by and you'll get clustered, uh, you'll not be able to do as much as you want to do. So also the two things will be um, balance and sacrifice will be two things that I think um, you need to have for sure. Great answers, man. Well, yeah, bro. Well, we appreciate you coming on and, and chopping it up. You know what I mean? We're going to return to the action here now. We, we're looking at the game. We, we got more of a game now. It's a three-point game, you know, so... Team Orange is making a push. It looks like this is going to be a, a good one down the stretch. I appreciate you, and thanks again for, to both of you again for bringing me on. It's truly an honor, and keep doing great things. I really love, um, I come to watch some of the games at times at Halifax West, and just admire being from the Caribbean with Caribbean heritage. It's amazing to see what you're doing over here in Nova Scotia. Keep doing your thing. Proud of both of you guys. Respect, bro. You, Thank you. Chaz Samuel, best of the best. Courtney. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that was Chaz Samuel, man. One of the best trainers we got down here, man. Let's get back to the action, though. Okay, man. Yeah, so right now we got... Oh. That was a I like... I really like the, the shooting stroke of AWOL. That was a nice... Oh, Oh, good take by Ava McNutt. Great take. Floating it in. Seems like we're back with the starters running, too. Some of them, anyway. Yeah. They okay, get, some they of get, them, yeah. They I get see, mixed up a bit. I see Jemai out there. Yep. They get mixed up a little bit in this game. Yeah, that was great here from Chaz. Ooh. Nice. She's showing out so far, number 12. Jada Awal. She's showing out. I'm liking her game. Yep. Showing a lot in this. Good passing kick. Nice take by Jamal. Nice. The Halley Blaze teammates hooking up. That's what I like to see. Lily Francois bringing it up. Here comes Peyton Oshipko. A great first, quick first step with Oshipko. I've always enjoyed watching her play. I think she's a multi. Actually, I know she's a multi sport. She plays a bit of soccer as well. Um, very talented athlete. Gotta bring some subs back in. Yeah. Full platoon swap for Team Orange, I believe. Second one is good. Yeah, we've got Ellie now checking in for Shooter. Checking in for Peyton. Yep, she converted both from the from the charity strike. Ella Hoy bringing it up. 
It's Avery from Lockby. She looks to get it down to uh, Ivy. Nice pass. Right. There we go. Cortea with the leg. Cortea, oh, she, this is a kid that you, you cannot lose sight of her. Definitely. Day off ball. She, she knows how to move. Operating knows, in the paint. Yes, sir. She knows how to punch. She knows how to cut. She's very aggressive. And what are Cortea's plans for next season? As far, I, yeah, congratulations to Cortea. Recently, in the last few weeks, we saw that she's committed to uh, Mount St. Vincent. So Mark Ford getting a real gem in Cortea. She's going she's gonna to join her uh, former Auburn teammate, Zay Smith. Ooh, good push by Ella Hoy with the miss. Nice find. There we go, and it's all net. Yep. Team Orange looking to make a push. Avery going right at uh, Ooh, Kyra, I believe. Kyra from Woodlawn. Yeah, like every possession starting with a pass to the wing for sure. They're looking to no one's hanging on to the ball too long. Everybody's cutting, moving, looking to get you know, and they're and they're moving that thing, keeping everyone involved. Which is great to see because when you see the ball, everybody getting touches on offense, that that translates to effort on the defensive end and in the 50-50 possessions. Open the hit court, Corte in the high post. Oh. Just comes up a little short. Her and Kyra both get their hand on it. Here comes a Molly Sankton. Leaves one at the rim. Oh, nice bounce pass. Great pass from, whoa, and back that up. Oh. Molly Sankton came up with it. Not sure who that foul was called on. But I do believe it was uh, Sarah Miller. Uh -oh, uh oh, okay. Two DHIs. Yeah, there's everything, you know. Everyone just playing hard. It happens. But that team camaraderie, right? They're going to find a laugh out of that tangle up, right? Short, I'm sure it happens in practice all the time over at, at Dartmouth High, <laughs> the way these girls are playing. <laughs> Very surprised by the intensity. This is definitely not the NBA All-Star game. These no. girls are out here, they're getting after it. That's what we love to see here. Absolutely. It's the thing about this league, man. I'm telling you, it's full of competitors. So if they have a chance to come out and get on the court and, and you know, have fun and provide some entertainment they're definitely they're gonna they're not gonna take that lightly everybody's coming out they're playing hard and it's great to see Molly with the pull Good All right. shot. Nice oh, nice. like the aggression she's playing with only in grade nine as well this Molly Sankton really wow okay yeah one of Grammar, one of Grammar's All-Star selections. Oh, Ooh. aggressive take! A try. Here comes Ella. Oh. oh, it's called for the travel. Ella Hoy, great ten, representing Grammar. Let's talk about Ella Hoy a little bit, man. Phenomenal, phenomenal talent. Hard to believe she's only in grade ten, honestly. Um, definitely someone that, you know, when, when we're game planning for her at the West, you, someone that, you know, she takes up a lot of space in the game plan. You got to think about how you're going to contain her. I don't know if you can ever completely stop her, but that, you know, the, as we speak, she gets one up, gets a quick shot up. Yeah, lots of potential. I think the sky's the limit for her. Um, she played BNS last summer? Yeah, the past two summers, actually, yeah. She was on the uh, silver medaling U15 team in 2022. 
uh, as an underage. She was great, you know, as, as a grade eight going into grade nine. She played on that team, and then she had the opportunity to represent the U15 team a again last year. And, you know, I'd say a, a, a great shoe win to make that U17 team this year. And uh, possibly be in the mix again for Canada Games next 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 summer. So, wow, as you said, the sky's the limit. Shout out to Ella. Yeah, so that brings us to halftime now. 39-36 for Team Purple. Girls are getting after it. You know, girls, we're gonna we're gonna see how this all unfolds. Lots of action so far. Just another a, a big thank you to uh, Colleen Harris and, and Steve Harris at, out of CPA for hosting this event. Worked hard to put this on. So let's also shout out Maritime Athletic Profiles. One hundred percent, bringing you all the sights and sounds. bit under five minutes on the clock for halftime. Go get your snacks, go get your popcorn. Should be a great second half. Good, good.
just recognizing the uh, few All-Stars that were late getting to the game. Riley and Sersha from Citadel. Taya from Auburn. Maya Thomas from Auburn. Logan looking to inbound here for Team Orange. Matched up with Sasha Deb. It's a matchup we saw a lot this season. That's a big matchup. Maybe looking that she catch Nora. Nora with the handoff to Aaliyah Brunt. Ooh, good lefty take. Nice look. Great lefty take. Just a little bit off. Here's Thursday, swings it over. That's a big shot. Big shot by Maddie Webb. All Olivia right, from deep. Oh, just off. Leah Brunt with the O board. Kicks it out to Nora. She thought about it. Nora sizing up. Hits Aaliyah back, Brunt back up top. Aaliyah, Ooh, is look, okay. Aaliyah Brunt is in attack mode right now. Love to see it. Yeah, love the aggression in this game. Here comes Enos. Sasha, let it go. Oh. Okay, here comes Nova. Good rebound. Nova LePage. Let's go. I like seeing her wearing number eight out there like her little sister lyrical page. She got them nice LeBrons on too, man. Yeah, here's Nova at the line out of Millwood High School. Great showcase you've been seeing so far from some of the best players locally in Halifax and Dartmouth area. Yeah. Great to see such a showing for this Metro, this Metro All-Star game. Lots of fans, lots of parents, coaches in attendance, university players, it's great to see. Yeah, pretty packed house we got in here. Just a reminder, the boys game will be coming right up, right after this. Brought to you by Maritime Athletic Profiles. Should be a great one. Shout out to Tyler Deacon, one of the hardest working guys in the business. Yeah. Props to Tyler and Maritime, everything he's done with that business. Here comes Aaliyah Brunt. Olivia Logan looking to set the drag screen to get going. Aaliyah Brunt gets it off. Sash. Nice take. Sash secures the board. Oh, that's it out to Sersha. Sersha advances up to Enos. Enos back to Sersha. Now we got Maddie Webb. Back to Enos, inside the sash. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, the shimmy. Hey. Almost dropped in and out. Comes Riley. Or the Citadel looking to get things going for Team Orange. Olivia Logan with the old board off of Nora Lawrence miss. Olivia Logan puts it up. Oh, Sasha, Sasha the rip. rips it. She's looking. looking, she's surveying the court. She's looking what she got. She wants to go coast to coast, but I think that is too many steps. Sash, Sash going on vacation. <laughs> 40 Comes Olivia Brunt, gonna get things started for Orange. Olivia Logan coming up and setting a screen every time. That fly. Yes, oh. Pick and pop, a little short. A little bit of wind in here. 
<laughs> Come Sersha. It's Enos, Enos. But nice I thought pass. Everybody's okay, playing very fast first. Enos hits uh, Matt, Matty Webb at the rim. Yeah, love to see the unselfishness in this game so far by the girls. Great defense. Hey. That purple is packing, Team Purple is packing the paint right now. Making it very tough for uh, Team Orange to, to, to get a clean driving lane to the hoop. Yeah, so as mentioned earlier, you know, a couple of special guests. It was great, great getting Chaz on the, in, in the chat with us. We're soon going to have Courtney Donaldson joining us in the booth. We're going to see what she has to say. Yeah, very excited to hear from her. You know, following Smew's team this year, very successful career she's built down here. Excited to hear her story. 100%. Subs being made for Team Orange. We're seeing Maria and Sash matching up to Halle Blaze players. Let's talk about Halle Blaze real quick, uh, Coach Trevor. Um, a lot of people listening at home might not know about Halle Blaze. So, so Halle Blaze, man, yeah, new, new, new travel program to the city, right? Where, you know, the brainchild itself is about a, 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 a about a year old. Um, we uh, went on some trips in the early fall, late summer of 2023, and you know, it was just great to see our girls going out and get, have an opportunity to compete against uh, some 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 sage up schools and some uh, LSBA schools and, and seeing how they measure uh, playing that caliber of talent. So great, great development opportunity for, for the girls that play on the team for sure. Uh, geared up for, for our, our spring phase now. So a couple trips on, on their horizon planned and we're already in the gym. Had our first practice last night and I'm telling you, boy, that that scrimmage at the end, that was something to see. Couple Metro All-Stars like Allie McLean, representing Halle Blaze nice. and Halifax West. Great take to the left. Billy Francois with the pop. Secures it. Good rebound. Great board. Oh, Allie McLean, yeah, let's, let's get it in one. Down it. To the hard way. All right, it's time, it's time. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right in the mix. We got Courtney joining us now. Hello. Courtney Donaldson joining us in the booth. Oh, thank you. Just, just yeah, good. We're all good. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, Courtney? How, how's, how's, hey, how's thanks for having me. It's going well. I'm glad to be here. It's good basketball. Can't complain. Yeah. yeah. Taking the time to join us tonight. What do you think of the game and the action so far for an all-star game? So far, compete level. I love to see girls getting after it. Okay. I train a couple, so it's, uh, it's good to see where their game's at right now and what we need to improve on. So... It's nice, nice to see them play. Who do you, Who do you work, work with out there? there? <laughs> Over there. Okay. okay yeah. 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 I'm a huge fan of Lily game. Lily's game too. Five on orange. Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. yeah. shot. Good shot. So it's nice to see the other talent um, out here too. You know, I'm not from here, so you don't really know. Yeah. All the schools and everything. Talk, Talk about that, that a little bit. You're originally from, from BC, yeah? yeah? Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. So Kelowna, BC. Kelowna, okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Shout out to Kelowna. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kelowna. I like Beautiful that. city. I love it. Beautiful city. I love it. I'd love to get out to BC one, one of these days. Have you ever, like, have you been? No, haven't been. Never You've been. never been to BC? Never oh, you been. have to go. Yeah, oh, you're like, good move. 
uh, check it out. But, but with that, what do you think about the, the you know the basketball scene out east? I, what, what do you what's it saying? To me, the biggest difference from playing uh, out west, because I used to play at University of Calgary prior yeah. to SMU, um, it's a guards game out here, which I love. Yes. It's a lot faster pace versus out Ken West. You got some big bodies out there. Lots of size. <laughs> and not saying there's not big bodies out. Um, out east, because you know, you have to mention Kira Letlow, right. dominating at Cape Breton. So, shout out to her. But um, there's a lot more guards out here versus Ken West. Is, uh, everyone's big. I agree. Everyone's big. I agree definitely to, 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 to your point of this being a very guard centric uh, yeah. region for sure. Yeah. Just being a coach out here. Ooh. And that nice pace. Good block. Yeah, no, it's, 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 uh, it, I, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, a lot faster pace, a lot faster pace, and um, just a just a guard dominated league. Yeah, I like that. Oh, oh, oh baby. Well, let's talk about um, this year. You guys, this team, I've been following you guys on social media. You mm -hmm. also played with my cousin, Chloe Wilson. Yeah, shout out to Chloe. Chloe, shout out to Chloe, that's my girl. And, uh, Watch you guys from afar. I'm glad it shows because that team is so much fun to play with and we have so much fun playing together. Um, oh this one? Yeah. Oh this one. Okay. I, I keep going? Oh, I can, yeah. okay, cool. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like I said, those girls are so much fun to play with. Um, and we just have a blast uh, playing with each other. And, that, and we play our best basketball when we're having fun and just embracing the moment, you know, and going hard for the person next to you. 100%. Mm -hmm. I love that. And, and like, and like um, you know, you're saying it definitely shows. It's, it's, it's very, very evident that uh, you guys have that uh, connection amongst your team, for sure. Great to see. Um, how would you say that fun, how would you say that translates into being a back-to-back uh, -back AUS champion? Well, like I said before, uh, we play our best basketball when we're enjoying ourselves. And the love we have for each other and going hard for one another, you know, um, I absolutely think I, that was a huge contributing factor to going back to back and um, doing what we can do. I love it. I love it. So speaking specific to your game, when, when I watch you, I, I, I see a humongous chip on your shoulder when you're out there, which I love. That's why I love in my players that I coach myself, right? And, and, and speaking honestly, it's not something that we see very frequently on the female side so like how you know bringing that type of energy into the games that unapologetic competitive energy that I love how, how would you say that's received mm. well first and foremost I was never this loud like going into uh, like in high school I mean I grew up with brothers so I was always competitive but it was more of a just a silent competitive and when I got to Calgary uh, there was a culture a very intense to not only compete, but to be loud with it um, and to let them know that you're there. So as a young kid coming into that program, um, and the women were 28, 29, 30, good take, uh, 29, 30. As a youngin, you gotta, you gotta hold your ground. So I definitely learned to be a little bit louder there. Um, I've never been too worried about the receiving end because if you know me off the court, uh, you know what I'm about, you know who I am. And you know, at the end of the day, it's all love. Um, and I'm just having fun, honestly. And that to me is having fun and competing. So that's what I learned. Great answer, great answer, because I couldn't agree more. That's what, that's the, I, I share the same philosophy when it, when it comes to all that. You know, nothing wrong with being a little bit out loud. And then, you know, game's done. You keep it between the lines. Game's done. You shake hands, you move on. Right. I love that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Love that answer. All right, and I also understand you're a graduate this year. So, like, any plans for the summer or um, this coming fall? Lots of plans for this summer. Well, the first plan is uh, to stay ready 
Uh, I'm graduating with a sociology degree, so I've already applied to the RCMP, so I'm just going through the application process. But I am going to be playing overseas. I'm wearing a couple options right now. Uh, oh! But, um, yeah, that was a good take. Uh, but I will be playing somewhere. Congratulations. Yeah, that's amazing, Courtney. We, you, just watching your game, it's, it's, it's a surprise that you're going to be, you know, looking to take it a step further and, you know, step into that realm of getting paid to do what you love to do. So we wish you the best of luck with that, that endeavor, for sure. Um, given, you know, wrapping up, uh, a successful collegiate uh, career, you who who better to ask? You know, like looking at these girls, I, I'm sure many of these girls have aspirations to play at the next level. So, um, what are three attributes, traits, skills, whatever the, that may look like that you feel a high school play, level player should uh, possess to to translate into the university game at at, at the proper rate? Okay, if I can choose three. I'm going defense, shooting, and mental toughness, okay? So the first one, defense. As a freshman coming into a university league or a college league or whatnot, it's very rare you are going to be the best player. If you are, congratulations, awesome. I'm, that's amazing. But most of the time, if, if you're not, what are you gonna be? You're gonna be a role player. And to assert yourself into that lineup, with maybe consistent minutes or here and there, you've got to be able to defend the ball. You have to be able to defend. You've got to have that trust um, from the coach that if you go in, you're locking whoever up. Second one, you've got to be able to shoot because if you can't shoot, you're not going to get the closeouts and you can't make the read off of that, you know? So it's, it's a must, especially in today's game. Um, you've got to be able to shoot. And the third one, mental toughness, it's, it's a must, okay? Um, and that includes the confidence, the resiliency, um, the ability to fail and get back up and be okay with failing and making those mistakes um, and just being accepting to any feedback and learning. That is a huge one, big one with those. Like, as you get older and your game progresses, if you have those three, you're, you're going to keep going up from there for sure. All, all great answers. Thank you for that, because you know that's that's important for these young ladies. I ho hopefully, you know, girls watch, young ladies watching at home, or maybe these all stars themselves will watch this broadcast back. It's a good keepsake for them. So it's I'm, I'm, I hope they they really tune into that and lock in and and, and take that advice. But um, as we, we as we get back to the action, we're we're. Looking to get into the fourth quarter, wrapping up the third quarter. We got Team Purple up six points, so we're going to have a game in the last 10, 10 minutes. I don't think there's going to be any blow here. Uh, what are you guys thinking about that? Yeah, this is what we came for. I'm glad we get a game going into the fourth. Um, very interested to see who pulls it out. Any MVP candidates so far? Um, what was it, number 14? Number 14's been showing out. Yeah, there's been a few. There's been a few, you know, that are coming out being being aggressive. We saw, uh, you know, we saw a bit from. Uh, you know, it's hard, it's hard for me to say. I feel put. I get I, if I was a name on an MVP game, yeah, I feel, I feel like, like I'm on the spot, spot a little bit because I saw, you know, off the top of my head, I saw, saw saw some good stuff from a few people, but definitely, yeah, I'm all, I think you're referring to. Um, Molly Sankton, she came out playing aggressive. Um, we also saw a bit from, from Ivy and uh, Ellie, the, the DHS girls. Well, number 12, I meant, number 12, sorry. Yeah. Number 14 is Ella. Great take, and even, even right there, Avery from Lockview, she's been, she's been looking to attack, she's been in attack mode all night, hitting the lanes. There she is again, shooting the gap, and she's going right to the yeah, rim. Yeah, get a layup. Let's go. Oh. What about you, Courtney? Any thoughts on that? Any, any yeah. thoughts on uh, MVP? Yeah, you both got two Courtney's on the broadcast right now. <laughs> Um, I'm excited to see who's going to step up in this fourth quarter, you know? People have been playing really well all game, but um, the real dogs come out in the fourth. 
Okay? I agree. You know, you've been, maybe you've been sitting for about 10 minutes. You got a lot of people here. But who's going to come in and show out? That's a good shot. Great okay. I like her game. Yeah. I really like her game. She's from Sackville, right? Sackville. She's smooth. Yes. She's very smooth. Very well. Well. Yes, yes. While Courtney's here, I want her to speak on that uh, viral clip that she had. Was it an M1? She's staring down at the girl after the layup. I want oh, to speak yeah, yeah. on that. Yeah, that was a viral meme mug, too. I, I love that. Um, just speaking on a little bit. It was just, we were talking about, uh, okay, good shot. Turn me up. Um, we are talking about Angel Reese and just, uh, just how she, what she's brought to women's basketball um, and the confidence to be loud and, you know, show a little bit of uh, aggression. Okay. Okay, see, like I said, the dogs are coming out. Um, but there was, a, there was an instance in my last game, I had to take to the basket, and I, I hit her, she hit me, but she fell to the ground. So I, I flexed on her a little bit, and as soon as there was a dead ball, uh, the ref ran over to me, saying that she could have teed me up, this and that, and respectfully, I go, would this be a conversation in the men's game? Would you have called that a technical in a men's game? Okay? And she kind of looked at me, she goes, just, just work with me here, and I said, okay. Because honestly, I, the amount of times I've seen men's basketball player abuse the ref, <laughs> abuse the referee and the ref, <laughs> and does not say anything and just take it, runs back on the floor, it astounds me. Versus we clap, we, we stare, automatically it's a technical, automatically it's, it's a comment. Oh, you need to relax. Oh, hang on there, you know? So it's, it's a little frustrating, but we're slowly, uh, we're slowly improving that part of uh, the women's game. I love to see, see it, man. We love to see, see the ladies, ladies playing with some edge. There's nothing wrong with that. We wish we could instill that energy in a lot of the girls. And yeah, like, you love to see it, man. No, 100%. Oh, and speaking of that, as we speak, here comes here comes Sasha, Sasha Neal with the rim protection. You know, we've seen that edge a bit and that grip from Sash. Uh, you know, I've seen it all throughout her career, but definitely this season, it's, it's really come out where, you know, she's blocking a shot, she's doing the stare down. I might have even seen a Matumbo wag at one point, finger wag at one point. I don't know. I don't know, man. If she didn't do it, she was thinking it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I really like how uh, she's developed her game into fouling less, a lot less, and really getting the, the hang of um, timing of when they're going up and being able to shot block it. I, I agree. Now, a, a phenomenal rim protector and a nice gem heading to uh, University yeah, of New Brunswick next year. Too, yeah. Sure. Great, great scoop up for them early in the season as well. Reese, have you been watching any of the women's March Madness? If so, who do you got winning? Because there's a lot of great teams, a lot of great players. Who are you predicting to take it all this year in March Madness for the women? That's a, that's a great question. Um, honestly, the, the student part of the athlete has been boxing me lately, so I haven't been able to watch as much basketball as, uh, as I've wanted to, but I've been, I've been keeping up here and there. Um, obviously, I'm a huge fan of Iowa. Uh, I love Notre Dame. I love their rookie. I'm also a huge fan of Juju. She, her bag is so tough. Uh, she's got everything, everything, you know, and I love watching her play. Um, and then obviously Angel Reese, LSU. I don't have too much faith in them this year. Good take. Get up there. Um, I'm not seeing what I'm liking. I'm not, from one of the games I've watched, I, I haven't really liked their game right lately. You know, I've, they've been struggling a little bit in my opinion. Yes, they pulled it together, but they're looking a little shaky. You named three or four teams, but you didn't say your prediction though. Me personally, I got LSU still, even though they started out shaky, playing to their competition, but I think they'll get it together. Second pick, maybe I gotta go with UConn. That's a sleeper. I love Paige. 
And I also love Juju. That's the female Kobe right there. I don't know if they got enough to really bring it home, but maybe she might be able to put the girls on her back, get that W. We'll see, though. Honestly, I have Iowa taking it. I have Iowa taking it. I, I think they've really developed everyone. I mean, you can't, you can't obviously ignore Caitlin Clark, but they've developed the people around her really well. You know, they run their lanes. They do what they need to do to let Caitlin be great, you know, and, and she rewards them for that. You know, she headmans it, and they have to get back on defense. Then she has her transition three, and that's, that's, an, that's a free throw for her at that point. So I, I think what they've shown in their improvement from last year has been really impressive. No, I agree with that take for sure. I was looking strong. Um, my pick personally, I got UConn taking it this year. I like what I've been seeing from Paige Beckers and huge fan of uh, Aaliyah Edwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's been fun to watch uh, for sure. I've, I've, I've been tuning in a bit on both sides. But, you know, this year, I got to say, like, like, like most people, I'm leaning more on the female side. Uh, that's got my attention a little bit more. Here comes Sasha Neal getting slick with the ball. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah. One thing about Sasha Neal, she loves the fourth quarter. Yep. I've learned that the hard way too many times coaching against her. You know what I mean? She loves the fourth quarter. But yeah, Courtney, um, where can we f follow you on socials, plug all your stuff so people can continue to follow your basketball career? Um, I currently just use Instagram for socials, uh, but you can follow me. Courtney Donaldson, and there's just an extra Y in between uh, the Courtney and the Donaldson. So you can find me on Instagram. Also, I am doing individual training and group sessions. If anyone listening to this broadcast is interested, um, just hit me up on there. Uh, reach out to me, so and we can get something started. Amazing. Yeah. No, that, I think that's a that's a wonderful opportunity for a lot of up and coming hoopers. So thank you for that. Thank you for giving back and taking the time to, to, to develop these young, aspiring, amazing ladies that, that you know, want to want to make it to the stage that you're you're now moving along from. Absolutely. And they're honestly, they're so much fun. Like, they make it worth it. And uh, it's a lot of fun to do what I do. Like I get to coach every morning, so I can't complain. Really can't complain. Yeah, really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us, tell your story, and best of luck on your basketball journey moving forward. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. It's been a pleasure. Respect, Courtney. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate you guys. Courtney Donaldson. Great name, by the way. Yeah. No, great, great catching up with Courtney. Just love her, love her insight. Love the insight that she provided as a, as a you know, graduating collegiate, high-level collegiate athlete coming out of St. Mary's University. Very cerebral, high IQ for the game, and wherever she ends up uh, next year, it's going to be a great pickup for, for any team. I, just from, from talking to her, that's, that's the type of player I'd love to coach. Ava McNutt for two. Yeah, let's get back to the action. We've got a close game here, yeah, Coach Trevor. Four-point game. Rui hit, hooked up with AMAC with, for, for two. Live from deep. Bango, let's go. Yeah, we got a game on our hands. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. Here comes Rui one, running the point. Metro Ooh, League Rookie of the Year. Yeah. That was a good take, just Great a little take. bit off. Nice head man from Lee. He's popping there. Let that Francois. go. Maria Davignon. Lots of familiarity on the court. Olivia and Lily. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, no, lots of. Lots, lots, lots of Lots of great players. Also, you know, we got to take the time. Of, you know, I'm looking on the court. I see a lot of girls that spend time in the Triple Threat Academy. So I got to give a humongous shout out to my boy, uh, Jonathan Bell. Yes, JB. You know I mean? Our guy, JB, Coach Coach Bell, you know. Um, yeah, no, keeps keeps doing phenomenal things with, with the girls. So definitely want to shout them out. We're seeing a lot of girls that uh, – He's work, he currently works with and has worked with over the years. So, you know, shout out to him. Sarah Mallard swings it over to Amac. 
Amac gets on two, kicks it back out to Sarah. Sarah gets in for the nice little touch, nice little floater. And I believe JB's website is triplethreatns.com. If you want to book some sessions with JB, one of the best trainers we got in the city, one of the best coaches. 1,000%. Here we go, Rui with the ball, pushing. Hands it off, a deep ball for Sarah Maller. Rims off. 71-70 now for Team Purple. I believe, has, has, has Team Orange had a lead in this game? I don't know if there's been many lead changes. It's been a close game. I don't recall many lead changes, so. I'm not 100% sure. But Maria diving you all. Oh, that's hey. it. Go. Maria, there, Maria. There's that lead change we're talking about. Reminiscent to uh, her brother Gabe Davignon, who yes. lets a lot of those go for Acadia University. 100%. Here Ooh, comes Rui. Take by Rui. Nice little touch. This is, a, this is an all-star game, Coach Corey. Maybe we get some OT. I wouldn't mind some OT action. Yeah, it's, you, we, we're, you know, we don't have the ELAM, we don't have the ELAM rule in place, so we can have OT. Great hustle. Once again, right. like the shout out Maritime Athletic Profiles. If you're listening, you don't follow them, follow them on YouTube. They're broadcasting, streaming, lots of local sports. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Halle Blaze will also be broadcast this year on Maritime Athletic Profiles. We're looking to follow some of these girls as they play Ooh. through the spring, summer, and the fall. Molly Sackton kicks it out. Oh, Maria thought about it. She goes hard. There we go. Hey. Goes right at the defensive player of the year and her teammate, Ava McKnight. Like this matchup between Maria and Ava. Again, a matchup that, you know, I often get to see in practice. Oh, good take. But not that all get to see. So it's a fun, very fun environment tonight here at CPA. Nice try by Rory. One minute left, two point game. Maria Damian looking to run the point. Ava McNutt matched up. Lily Francois controls it, gets it into Olivia Logan. Ba back, give and go. Nice little fill behind cut from, from and dive from Lily Francois. Love the aggression. Gets herself on the line. We got Team Orange up right now. Two points. Lily Francois, Cox stopped at the line. First one's good. Let's quickly talk about Lily Francois. Um, she has some plans this coming fall. Yes, uh, committed to CBU. Going to take her talents up to the Highlands and, you know, a great addition for them. Uh, you know, uh, uh, definitely a university-ready player. She can, she can shoot it. Offers the physicality needed to play at that level, and just a high IQ, high IQ player. I've had the you know the pleasure to be the assistant coach with BNS the, the last two summers, so had 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 the honor and privilege to, to coach Lily. She's just a great great kid, lights up a gym, great energy, great get for any team. So congratulations to her and to CBU for for that commitment. Yeah, shout out to her pop, Sean, too. Sean Francois, coach of uh, MSVU. Yeah, assistant coach with MSVU. Coming and off just a successful season. All around great guy, you know. <laughs> 48 seconds left, four-point game. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting to know, you know, the coaches are looking to have fun over there, too, but. You know, it'd be nice to know what they're talking about in there. How do you approach this, this crunch time situation in an all-star game? Yeah, you getting that itch to coach watching this game or what, Trevor? You know what? It's actually nice to sit back and be a fan for once and just take in all the action and be able to comment and highlight these wonderful. Oh! Oh! oh. Rui lets it go. That was a good, you know. Coach drew up, and Coach drew, got what she was looking for, though. It looked like the shot she was looking for. She drew up a nice little action over there. 
Looks like Purple's looking to get up. Yeah, we're going to see some pressure here. Yeah, Purple's got to get up. First time in the game, I believe. Uh oh, yeah. miscue there. Not everybody's got matched up. Time coming off the clock. Orange is thinking about time and score right now. Orange wants this win. Yeah, we need to see some pressure here if they want to get the ball back. Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Defensive player of the year, Ava McNutt. Oh, oh. oh. Good take, they need Ava. A, they need to stop the clock. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And they do have, <laughs> they only had one foul to give, so quickly getting what they want. I don't know if that's who you want to foul, though. 90% 90, 90 free throw shooter, Olivia Logan. <laughs> AMAC knows that, but she just wanted to stop the clock. We might see a timeout. Yeah, we're going to see a timeout. They're trying to ice Olivia over there. Hey, hey, man, use them or lose them, right? You got the timeouts here. No, that's facts. You got the timeout to use. It's a good time to, like you said, start to ice her at the line. Reigning Metro League MVP, Olivia Logan. Let's talk about her a little bit. And Acadia commit. Yeah, an early Acadia commit. Actually committed as a grade 10, which is, you know, rare. You don't get, you don't see that often. Um, just a hard-nosed kid that, you know, really – embodies what you know you, you hear everybody talking about the grind and everything else but if there's you know if there's anyone that grinds it's that kid for sure she's out i'm sure she was over at cgc getting shots up today you know she, she's a kid that she's a day doesn't go by without her getting shots up she's always in the gym always looking to get better I'll ask great questions and loves to compete we'll also see her you know return to highly blaze this summer so she you know and, and i'm sure intends on trying out for BNS, so it could be a big summer for Olivia. Very excited to watch her growth going into her senior year. Coming off back-to-back -back second Ooh. place. Coach got what they were looking for with the freeze attempt there, and yeah, this first could, one came off. This could get interesting here. Purple's there, look for a three. They got seven seconds. Who wants a shot? They're looking for Mallard. Oh, the runner. Great game. Great game. I just want to take the chance to applaud these ladies coming out and giving us a show, playing hard, representing themselves and their schools in, in a formidable uh, manner. Right? Just, just Amazing showcase here today. Three-point game. That's all you can ask for. Once again, thank you very much to Maritime Athletic Profiles putting on such a great broadcast. Yep. Now we're going to get set for the for the boys' all-star game. Congrats to the girls again. Congratulations to everyone who played in this game for being an all-star. Um, you know, shout out to Rui, Rookie of the Year, Olivia Logan, MVP, and Ava McNutt, our Defensive Player of the Year, and uh, all the all-stars that participated in came out here and, and did their thing for us tonight. So with that, you know, I'm going to thank everyone again for tuning in. And, you know, I, th I believe this is where we sign off. Until next time. Yeah, it was great here kicking it with you, Coach Trevor, Coach Courtney Simmons here. Man, follow us on Halle Blaze Hoops, one of the premier travel teams in the Halifax and Dartmouth area. Have a great night, everyone. All right, everyone, take care. Peace.
Guys, we're going to get you to line up along your blue line, okay? Along your blue line. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cheetah Dome, C.P. Allen. 7.30, Div 1 High School Boys All-Star Game. We have Steve Harris and Colleen Harris giving presentations for our League All-Stars. John Tramble on the mic tonight, getting the call, last minute call. And we'll hold it over to Steve Harris, League Coordinator and Head Coach of the CPA Cheetahs. First of all, a big congratulations to our players tonight on a fantastic season and congratulations on being named a all-star for your teams. Just to get things started tonight, uh, we wanted to give out a few presentations. Uh, we have league all-star awards that we're gonna present to the guys just before tip-off today. Uh, so when we call your name, if you could come up to receive your award. Uh, first of all, from C.P. Allen High School, Mason Thurber. <laughs> Jude Cameron. From Millwood High School, Paul Otho. Jaden Lucas. From Citadel High School, Kanan Christmas. Bryson Clark. From Dartmouth High School, Bro Williams. Cayman Gross. From Armbray Academy, Ollie Nadeau. Renai Beals. From Auburn High School, Matthew Carmichael. Andre Ash. From Bayview High School, Aiden Taylor. Eamon Johnson. From Halifax Grammar, Max Matcham. Sorry, did I mispronounce? Make them. Make them. Make them. Congrats. Sam Ologu. From Jay Lilsey, Jaron Tynes Howe. Omar Kalak. From Halifax West, Beckett Nadeau. Congratulations. 
Tevin Brothers. From Woodlawn High School, Jacob Drain. Josh Moores. Congrats, Josh. From Lockview High School, Xavier Paris. Congrats, buddy. Jacob Malloy. From Sackville High School, Rylan Benoit. Come on, buddy. Grady Kogan. Uh, rookie. I'll do the coaches out there. Rookies. Each year in the Boys Metro League, we give out a few league awards. Uh, we're going to give, uh, we're going to present those right now to the guys. Uh, first of all, the Rookie of the Year award this year. We have co-rookies of the year. Our first Rookie of the Year is Traverius Carvery from Citadel High School. Hey, you're serious. We're going to get a picture, okay? And our co-rookie of the year is Treve Jones from Armbray Academy. The Bob Douglas Defensive Player of the Year Award goes to Donovan Reed from Millwood High School. Up, buddy? Great season. This year's league MVP goes to Mason Thurber from C.P. Allen High School. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Um, just stay there. Um, just before we start the game off tonight, um, I just wanted to take a minute to acknowledge our guest coaches for the evening. Um, first of all, over the last three years, we've had a great partnership um, with university and college coaches. Um, coaching on the purple team tonight, uh, Coach Danny De Palma from Mount St. Vincent uh, University. Uh, Big congratulations to Coach De Palma, uh, ACAA champions this year, and over the course of different parts of the season, uh, ranked number one across Canada in the CCAA. So congratulations, Coach. <laughs> On our orange bench tonight, big thank you to Coach Rick Plato from Dalhousie University. Rick has put together pretty unbelievable stats, seven-time AUS champion, uh, and more importantly, alumni teacher here at C.P. Allen High School. Congratulations. Thank you for coming back. And just, just before we stop talking about both of these guys, uh, the fact that these high-level coaches are willing to come back and donate their time uh, to invest in our local uh, student athletes really says a lot about their character. So thank you very much for coming back. Much appreciated. <laughs> Have a great game tonight, guys.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the All-Stars named great presentation made by uh, league organizer Steve Harris and head coach of the CPA, Cheetahs. Shout out to most valuable player of the year, went to Mason Thurber from C.P. Allen. Defensive Player of the Year, Donovan Reed from Millwood High. And this year, uh, well-deserved co-rookie of the year, Traverius Carvery and Treve Jones. So for Team Purple, we have Rick Plato Dalhousie, Tigers head coach. Coming off an AUS championship, donating his time and wisdom to Team uh, Team Orange, and coming off uh, ACAA championship, head coach for the Mystics, the MSVU, Danny De Palma, joined by his his assistant Marcel Boudreau. Head coaches giving some wisdom and I'm sure some pre-game strategy to make this game an exciting one tonight for you viewers at home. Got a great crowd here at the Cheetah Dome. Starters for Team Purple, we got number seven, Ollie Nadeau from Armbray Academy. Bro Williams from DHS. Number nine, Jude Cameron. And representing Millwood High, Paul Othlo. And Bryson Clark from Citadel. And then we have Team Orange, Cayman Gross from DHS. Number eight, number six, Kane and Christmas. From Citadel, we got Jaden Lucas from Millwood. Number four, Max Makeham from Grammar. And the MVP, Mason Thurber from CPA. And we got the tip off coming up in just a moment. John Tramble here on the call, head coach of Armbury Academy, director of basketball, and physical education teacher. And I want to thank the viewers for not turning off their YouTube and tuning in for tonight's exciting game. As we should have some back, to back and forth action, hopefully some highlight dunks and some great plays. And here we go. And number eight, Cayman Gross will set the table for Team Orange. Gets it to Kane and Christmas. Up at the top, looking for Jaden Lucas, and he'll drive right up to the hoop, and there is two for Lucas. Getting the party started. And Team Purple, we got Bryson Clark taking the left. To Paul Othlo from Millwood, goes left, and a little disconnect from deep. Came in gross with the rebound. Up to Kane and Christmas, he looks at it. Jaden Lucas, back up to Gross. Thurber at the top. Jude Cameron on, Jaden Lucas. Nice behind the back by Lucas. Looking for that back door by Mason Thurber. And that is two points for Team Orange. Perot Williams, number four. Taking it up, taking it left. And Jude Cameron, no stranger to this gym, lighting it up. And Bro Williams at the top, contested by Keeman Gross. And we have. First foul. Came and Gross doesn't like it. Better be careful not to get the technical with that smile. Bro Williams at the line. One shot. Seeing if he can connect with two. And he does not. Thurber to Gross. Skips it to make him. The lefty from Grammer. Oh, almost a steal by Williams. Clark gets it up and it's stolen by Grouse. 
And we might have some showtime lay-in action from Thurber. She has four. Jude Cameron at the top. Right to left. Bro. Back up to Ali Nadeau. To Clark. Williams. And little miss. Nice kick up to make him. And turnover picked up by Cameron. Williams to Clark. Clark to his left, looking for that spin, stolen by Lucas. Make him going left to right, blocked by Clark, and that is two shots. And the refs getting into the action, blowing their first whistles. As Max Makem, grade 10 student at Grammar, the left-hand sharpshooter at the line, misses the first. Makes the second, and Team Orange got a seven to one lead right now on Team Purple. Cameron kicks it to Williams, back to Nadeau. Clark to Paul Othlo, the jumper, and can't get it to go, but great effort by Williams. But not rewarded by the out of bounds line. Cayman Gross, Dartmouth High guard, senior. Gets it to Thurber. Back out to Gross. To make him. Going to his left as he does. Nice attempt and it's picked up by Williams. Nice push here, transition. Getting it going and stolen by Lucas. Nice pass to Max. Make him for two points. And Orange is off to an eight point lead. Clark handed off to Nadeau from deep. And yes, he makes no mistake from downtown. Ali Nadeau, the grade 10 rookie. Nice take by Christmas. Number three, Paul Othlo. Back out to Bro Williams. Disconnects. Bro starting off a little cold. A couple good looks. Two teammates there meeting in the air. Paul stopping his teammate Lucas, but that was an offensive rebound. Nicely done by Lucas to get it back up. Jude Cameron, left to right. And stolen again by Thurber. And taking it in for the little scoop. Bryson Clark gets it to Paul, looking to go downhill. And he's going deep. And yes, he connects. Cotton into the orange lead. 15 7. Kenan's Christmas. And Bro Williams with his fourth rebound in the first four minutes. Quick trigger, couldn't get it to go. Came in gross now to Lucas. Great look off the window, no good. Jude Cameron all the way. Great take by the CPA senior. And a nice easy find for Lucas as Purple doesn't pick up. Jude Cameron at the top, swings it. And Clark from deep, yes! And Team Purple finally starting to heat up after a couple of miscues. Gross blocked by Williams. Purple out in transition, Nadeau to Williams, back to Nadeau, and that's an easy two points. Williams and Nadeau hooking up for two. Gross at the top. Max going right to left. Nice pull up jumper by Makem. Jude Cameron to Nadeau again from deep, looking for his second three. No good. Williams can't connect. And Lucas with the rebound. Lucas with the Euro step, but forgot his 
Plane ticket. And Jude Cameron taking flight for the scoop off the window. Thurber from the corner. Off the mark. Nadeau with the rebound. Clark, good pace here by Team Purple. Othlo can't get it to go. Low percentage from three right now from Team Purple. And Kanan Christmas adds to his percentage from three. And we got subs now coming in from both teams. Coach Plato, Coach De Palma, encouraging their All-Stars. And we got Johnson. The floor to Nadeau, gets it to Josh Moore. He's a sh shooter from outside. And Renai Beals, number 10, getting to Jaron. Tynes Howe, back up to Renai Beals. And he knocks it down from three. Renai Money Beals gets on the board for three. Beck and Nadeau, good defense by Jaron. Tynes Howe, Josh Moore, the shooter from Woodlawn, gets it going. Seven point lead now for Team Orange. Tevin Brothers to Beals, to Howe. Got away from a foul there, but Nadeau, but Jaron Tynes Howe. Welcome to the All-Star Party. He gets it going. A little and one action from How. JL Ilsley guard. Can't complete the and one. And Johnson. Nice pass to Beckett. And we got a big block by Renai Money Beals. Team Orange, liking the energy. Sam Malugo from deep, just short. Jacob Drain from William, from Woodlawn, the rebound, gets it to Jaren. And Tevin Brothers, looking for that heat check. And Carmichael, looking for a dunk, but he gets fouled, he's going. To the line, after a little harm at the hoop. This crowd looking for some showtime action. Thought Carmichael might have been able to get into the lane for that first dunk of the night. Missed the first from the charity stripe. And short on the first. And Jaron Tynes, how good effort there. Little miscue with Brothers. Tevin Brothers from Halifax Warriors. He had one heck of a game this year. Scoring, I believe, 51 points in the regular season. Definitely a great and improved player in the league. And Beckett Nadeau, brother of Ollie. Scores his first two. And Renai Money from deep. Can't get it. And Jacob Drain meets in the air. And he gets it going for Team Orange. And Drain puts Orange up nine. The chance to go up by ten. Great effort by Jacob Drain from Woodlawn Panthers. Foul shooting, an issue so far in this All-Star game. But great take by Eamon Johnson. Can't get it to go, gets the rebound. Looking for Carmichael, skips it to Sam Alugu. Shooting for three and he connects deep. Cuts it to six points for Team Orange. Tevin Brothers going right to left. Gets it. Gets it into Xavier Paris. And he'll head to the charity stripe for two shots. Things are starting to heat up in the game, other than the foul shooting. 
little low percentage so far. Maybe it's the nerves. So we've got a packed house here in the Cheetah Dome. Eamon Johnson to Sam Alugu. Alugu right to left. He will definitely look to get some show time as he does with the left hand. Testing out the hops. Drain on Carmichael. Stop and pop. And Johnson, good pace here in transition. Gets it to Beckett Nadeau, just short. Carmichael, good job, nicely done to Johnson. Blocked by Drain. And it will be team purple ball. One minute and 18 left in the first quarter. Beckett Nadeau. Back and forth, love the give and go. Beckett Nadeau, and one. Great pass from Eamon Johnson. Eamon Johnson showing, showing some great energy off the bench here from Bayview. Started the year injured, but definitely, uh, definitely a strong, strong player for the Sharks. And Jacob Drain setting the table. A little bit of a weak pass. Renai Beals gets it to Jaron. Back to Renai looking to get his second triple. Can't get it to go. And Sam Alugu taking it right to the hoop. Can't get it to go. And Josh Moores gets on the board with the put back. Seven brothers. Handoff. Nope, fakes it. Gets it to Renai Beals. Renai Beals going left. Heavily guarded by Beckett Nadeau. Ooh, nice in and out cross. It's Xavier Paris. He's got the speed, can't get it to go, but Jacob Drain also cannot connect. Nice find by Eamon Johnson. Gets it to go off the glass with the right. And we got a 31 to 30 game as Team Purple have shown the Danny De Palma mystic hustle. That's stolen by Beckett Nadeau, and he'll lay it up with the left. Three, two, one at the buzzer. Tevin, and no go. And there you have it. Team Purple making a run as we go. 33 to 30 over Team Orange. Orange had a great start there. Got it going from deep. See Jude Cameron in the highlights. And Jaden Lucas got off to an easy, easy start with some point production there. A couple of highlights from Team Purple is Bryson Clark, Ollie Nadeau hitting it from deep. But so far off to a good start, just like in the girls' game where it was uh, ended up being a two-point game, giving the fans a little show. At the, at the end, great turnout for the basketball community here in Metro. Shout out to Maritime Profiles for providing the live stream. Again, lasting memories. I'm sure some of us Older generation wishes we had YouTube to watch our highlights, but uh, these kids can do it now. Provided by Maritime Profiles. And a couple of subs. For both Team Purple and Team Orange, Bro Williams and Jude Cameron checking back in for Team Purple, as well as Kenny Christmas and Max Makem, and Jaden Lucas and Mason Thurber. Well, as we get our first look at Ryland Benoit from Sackville High.
And Drew Cameron taking the ball up, getting it over to Omar, Omar Kalak. Well, the miscue there with the dribble handoff and another miscue from Cameron to Williams. Again, we'll see a couple of those turnovers as these players are used to battling against each other, not playing with each other. Good rebound there by Tosic. And Tosic taking it up. Make him. Back to Thurber up at the top on the right side. He drives. Kicks it out to Lucas from deep. And he is up to date on his long distance bills. Make them. Left to right, can't get it to go. Kalak with the rebound. And Bro Williams from deep. Gets to Kalak, back to Malloy. Malloy from three, and he's sharpshooter for the Dragons. My mistake, number six is Grady Gogan for Sackville High. That's why I went a little bit quiet, trying to figure out names. And Grady Gogan on Team Purple, number six, with the basketball now, guarded by his. And Jude finds Malloy, looking for his second hoop of the game and make him. To Lucas. Right to left, finds Thurber in the corner. Thurber definitely hit a number of those threes this season for the Cheetahs. Rare miss. Malloy getting it going, no hesitation. And Benoit with the rebound to Thurber. Up to make him to Christmas. Ooh, the little left step back, and that is smooth as butter. Kanan Christmas for three. Jude Cameron in and off to Williams. Williams at the top. Line up Christmas going right. Nice athleticism just off the mark. Williams can find his offense here. Purple could take a little bit of a jump on the scoreboard. Lucas, Kane and Christmas stepping to his right, off the mark. Cameron to Gogan, inside the clock, back to Grady, nice little give and go. JL and Sackful hooking up for two points. Make him in and out. Back to Ryland Benoit from deep. And that's off the mark. Picked up by Cameron. Jude Cameron stops and pops. I liked it. Nice pick up by Max Makeham. Another rebound. Max Makeham, steady guard for Grammer. Thurber taking it right. And that is tough. Mason Thurber. Recent commit to the St. Mary's Huskies. So he'll play for head coach Jonah Tosic and the Huskies next year. They're getting back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back provincial champion in Thurber. And lots of substitutions on both teams with 5.33 to go in the second quarter. Bro Williams at the line. And checking in for Team Purple, Sam Malugu, Paul Othlo, Bryson Clark. And Beckett Nadeau, number one. 
And we got Purple Ball and Ollie Nadeau from Armbury Academy checking in for Bro Williams. And the Millwood Knight, Paul Oclo, back up to Alugo, right to left. Nice left hand, nicely done. Can't get it to go. Great take. Seven brothers looking to get on the board. Stop. Nice two foot floater. Miss Q. Beckett Nadeau looking for teammates. Finds Clark. Steps back from three. Off the mark. Drain with the rebound to Gross. Xavier Paris. And off the front rim there. One point lead as Ali Nadeau takes it to the hoop. He's got the left hand floater. Off the window, can't get it to go. Defense picking it up here in this game. Gross back up to Brothers. Both teams going a little bit cold here. Sam Alugu trying to get to the rim. Clark at the top, sizing up Brothers, steps back. And Renai Beals with the rebound to Keeman Gross. Keeman Gross. DH Spartan going with his left. And that's blocked by Sam Alugu. Welcomes Gross to the block party here on All Star Night. Bryson Clark. Guarded by Paris. He's going left. Finds Nadeau. Nice left to right. Nice scoop by the rookie. Grade 10, Ali Nadeau was hoping to get a foul there, but he definitely got the reward with two points. Nice hesitation by Renai Beals and two Ospreys going back to back buckets. No bias enthusiasm in my voice. And Sam Alugu back up to Clark. Clark going right to left. Back out to Beckett. For three, and he connects. And the Nadeau brothers getting it going for Team Purple. Came in gross. Setting the table to Paris, to Drain. Drain, can he make it rain? Off the window, cannot. Clark stops, pops, and no go. Came in gross. Wants the screen. Gets back in the dough on the switch to Paris. Back to Beals. Renai Money Beals going left, going right. And he gets the little Euro step paying for his flight. Came in gross for three from pretty much the logo. Knocking it down, showing the range. Came in gross. And Sam Alugu, great take. Would love to see Sam Alugu get out here in the open floor. Maybe see some showtime dunks. A great block there by Alugu. A couple substitutions coming in. We have Eamon Johnson from the Bayview Sharks. And Sam Alugu finding that touch from the outside. Head coach Sven Stamberger liking what he sees. And came in gross, heating up with the heat check here on All-Star Night. Josh Moore, he can heat it up as well. Panther stolen by Tevin Brothers. We've got a 2v1 two, two behind the back. And it's stopped by the back of his heel. Alugu, why not? Oh. Jacob Drain getting on the glass. And unfortunately his fellow teammate, but not tonight, Josh Moore's stepping out of bounds. Peter Paris, Kamen Grouse. Can he make it? Back-to-back -back triples, I think he wants it. He's feeling it, feeling it. Gets the switch, the step to Renai Money Beals. 
And we got a little ticky tack foul there. Eamon Johnson doesn't like it. Brothers to Beals from deep. And just short. Alugu picking up another rebound for his stat sheet. Showing that spark for Team Purple. Love the low left crossover. And he gets Grouse caught. With his hand in the cookie jar. And that is a foul. Sam Alugu. Definitely had an impressive year for Grammar. Great athlete. Lots of great athletes here on display tonight. For the Metro All-Star Game, Jacob Drain getting it to Cayman Gross. Cayman looking for that third triple in a row. See if he can do it. Renai Money Beals going left. Back to Cayman. Jacob finding, can't find Grouse on the back door. Picked up by Josh Moores. Right to left, Paul Othlow. Carmichael can't get it to go. Drain with another rebound. He's approaching probably double digits from the rebound. Stat mark. And Renai Beals from deep, just short. Sam Alugu. 19 seconds left in the half. One point lead here, 51-50. Guarded heavily by Xavier Paris and Alugu going left, blocked by Drain. Eight seconds left on that. Came in Grouse. He wants it, he takes it. Goes all the way for two points. Cayman Gross, excellent second quarter for Team Orange. Giving them a one point lead, heading into the half. And Coach Plato likes what he sees. Both coaches actually loving what they're seeing here tonight in Bedford at the Cheetah Dome. Great back and forth action from our Metro All-Stars. Thurber getting in the mix. Came in gross. Sam Alugu, definitely a great spark for Team Purple. The Nadeau brothers connecting. Renai Money Beals getting into the action. And we'll take a quick little break here at the half. 51-50, Team Purple over Team Orange. Team Purple led by MSVU head coach Danny De Palma and assistant Marcel Boudreau. And Team Orange led by Dalhousie Tigers head coach Rick Plato. John Tramble on the call taking a little break Shout out to Maritime Profiles. Viewers, don't go anywhere. Second half, coming your way.
And we're back to the CPA Cheetah Dome here in Bedford. Metro Division I High School Basketball All-Star Game. We got a 51 to 50 lead from Team Purple. And joining me in the second half, we have Defensive Player of the Year, Millwood Knights Senior, Donovan Reed. Donovan Reed, welcome to the to the All Star Game here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good to have uh, some backup here. Uh, but Donovan, um, definitely uh, here. Want to congratulate you on a fantastic uh, season. Uh, what was it like um, with you and your? Millwood Knights uh, winning a city city Metro League championship. It was definitely special. I mean, I, that has never happened before in Millwood basketball history. So never in actually in Sackville history. So I was to get a D1 banner. So it was special. I had my family in the crowd and friends, and it, it was really special. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The Knights Knights had a, you guys had an amazing uh, amazing season. Great. Uh, Great, great compete. Obviously, a lot of a lot of seniors. Obviously, you could have been could have been in this uh, in this game uh, here, but uh, you'll be uh, playing in the All Atlantic All Star Game. That's correct. Run by one and only Ming <laughs> Fallhand. Shout out to boy Ming. Just uh, doing it all for the kids, man. He, yeah. he he does it all. So you're excited excited for that weekend. Tell me what it was like. Uh, be to did you watch it last year? I was there last year. I was I wasn't there for like the skills competition, but I was there for the game. Yeah. So that was, it was pretty cool to see, and uh, I'm excited for that for sure. I could have played in this game, and I was offered to play in this game, but I said I'm going to be in the All Star game anyway, the All Atlantic one. And I was here last year, so there was no need for me to be in this. I was I was content. There you go. You're content. <laughs> You're content. No, it's going to be a great great weekend. Uh, great uh, great showcase. Uh, so what are the what are the off season uh, plans? I'm gonna be working out a lot. Yeah. Uh, I got a job going on with my brother. You know. <laughs> I get Landscaping. No, uh, Construction. It's uh, actually blasting. Oh really? Uh, gotta be a laborer <laughs> okay. this time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it's gonna okay. be a, it's gonna be a real busy summer. Just be, just blasting by day and lifting weights, picking picking things up, putting things down by night. I will I, I will be playing a wide set as well this summer. Oh, so fantastic! That'd be fantastic. good. Fantastic! That'd be good. Playing for Ming as well. Shout out to Ming. <laughs> there we yeah. go. There Luke we Stevenson go. actually is gonna be the, my head coach. Yeah. 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 Uh, who's in? Uh, who's impressed you out on the floor uh, tonight? Obviously, you know these guys you, you play against, uh, but you're allowed to say friendly things uh, oh, yeah. uh, to, to your competitors okay. here. Uh, <laughs> well, I gotta give a, a shout out to my boy Jaden Lucas. He's 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 playing hard. He's coming out to play today. Yeah, definitely started out with a great great spark. For sure. You, know, you see uh, Jaron Jaron Tynes How uh, taking it in. I gotta give I gotta give love to, uh, love to my boy Cayman as well. Cayman Gross, he's yeah, he dialed shoot. it up with oh, uh, sure. two back-to-back -back threes. That's it. He he ended the half well there. So, but this is a this is a pretty good game. It's not sloppy, and I'm I'm enjoying it for sure. Yeah, it's kind of good. Uh, not not too many turnovers. Uh, some missed layups, some missed foul shots, but uh, the guys are definitely They're definitely quite. competing competing hard. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's good to, it's good to see. Good to see. You. Well, Donovan, thank you very much uh, for joining us, and all the best uh, with uh, with next year. Uh, enjoy your grade 12 year. Uh, you had a fantastic uh, high school season. Yeah. And uh, keep keep it up. All right. Thank you very all much. All right. Awesome. Thank you. And there you have Defensive Player of the Year, Donovan Reed from Millwood Knights, joining me on the call. And back to live action. As we have Jaron Tynes Howe from JL Ilsley continuing to get to the line and show Coach Keenan Sparks what he's all about. Lots of coaches and fans here from the basketball community checking out these all stars. And again, each team was allowed two members from each program uh, to represent the team. Um, definitely, this is a representation of the talent, but there is more, more All-Stars at home uh, watching this right now. So shout out to them and continue working hard. As the parity this year in the high school season, I think, was... Uh, 
was as good as ever as uh, back and forth really gave the Nova Scotia fans lots to watch and cheer for. Definitely looking forward to next year. Max Makeham, the left hand. Back up to Kanan Chrisman. Nice skip to Mason Thurber. And off the window. Can't get it to go. And Beckett almost finds Jude. And they acknowledge on the look. Bro Williams finds Jude Cameron. Ooh, might have got away with a little carry there. And uh, gets it going with the left, though. Nicely done. Jaren Tynes Howe with the ball. Going left to right. Finds Jaden Lucas. And nice, smooth mid-range from Lucas. And Bro Williams wastes no time. Going left. Can't get it to go. Christmas leading the charge for Team Orange. Going in and out, cross to make them. Going right along the baseline. And not sure what was called there, but it uh, looks like it's going to be Team Purple. And we got some subs as Eamon Johnson, the Shark coming back. Sam Alugu, great spark in the second quarter. Bryson. Clark as well. And Jaron looking for Thurber, can't do it. Othlo back to Johnson, stops and pops from three. And Alugu with the rebound. Gets it to Paul, Paul back up to Eamon. Grady Kogan. Showing the hops. Can't get the fall, but Kanan Christmas dials it up from long distance. And no one answers the phone. Nice pass. Johnson. It's Kogan. Representing Sackful High, Kingfishers. And Coach Plato getting some subs. As Jaron Tynes Howe from JL Ilsley. Showing out tonight. Bryson Clark, the Citadel General. To Paul Otlo from deep. Nice shot, showing the long distance touch. From outside, Jaron Tintow. Right to left, nice pass inside to Lucas. And right now, Team Orange is increasing the lead. As there's a 10 point deficit forcing Danny De Palma to really think his strategy on what to do over there. Sure, he's stressed out. But just like that, Sam Alugo from three. Can't get it to go. Renai Beals with the rebound. Charging up. Back to Cayman Gross. He can shoot from that range. Goes right. Nice pound dribble to Benoit. Back to Gross. Nice bounce pass to Brothers for two points. And Team Orange starting to increase the gap. Bryson Clark left to right. Nice spin. And rebound by Cayman Gross. Drain, little miscue there. Nice hustle by Sam Alugu. Definitely showing the energy there. Tevin Brothers. Can't get it from distance. Nice left to right. Nice and smooth. The Citadel General Bryson Clark for two points of his own. Renai Beals, up fake. Finds Drain. Nice two-man game. And Drain gets his own rebound. Puts up two. Still a 12-point gap here for Purple. As Drain gets on the glass, he must have double digits now. Gross. Benoit. Nice high arc. Can't get it to drop. Oh. 
Renai Beals for three. And out of bounds. So two minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Kamen Gross in the corner. Alugu trying to get those hands on the basketball, but Kamen Gross continuing to show the touch from the mid-range. Bryson Clark right to left, back up top. Guarded by Brothers, goes left. And Benoit, great rebound there, leading the fast break. Brothers kicks it out to Drain. Left to right, off the window, and the Panther showing what he can do tonight. Nice take by Sam Alugu. And Team Purple, two minutes left in the third quarter. Good hesitation by Cayman Gross. Rebounded by Eamon Johnson. Nice strong take, and that's going to be a foul by Tevin Brothers. Doesn't like the call. Most don't. And Eamon Johnson will go to the charity stripe. Eamon Johnson, grade 12 senior for the Bayview Sharks. Nice rebound by the Millwood Knight, Paul Oflo. Back up to Clark, can't get it to go. Team Purple looking to find that offense. Sam Alugu from deep, yes! And that three point connection connects. 11 point lead, Team Orange. Beals at the top. Left to right, poked by Clark. Brady to Alugu, can he go back to back threes? And he does, and that's exactly what Coach De Palma wants to see from his team. Clark at the top, Beals contests, off the mark. And eight point deficit here. Team Orange with possession. Brothers for three. And gets it to go. Extending Team Orange to 11 point lead. Heat check by Oflo, just off the mark. Forty-two seconds left in the quarter. Gross taking it up from deep. Hits the front rim. Almost a steal there. Twenty-eight seconds here for Team Purple. Clark charging, going for the two for one. Finds Paul, and that is a nice deuce there. Eighteen seconds left of the quarter. Grouse wants him to flatten them out here. Orange in a little bit of a horn set. Six, five, going ball screen. Grouse looking for that last shot. And just short. And Team Orange with the nine point lead over Team Purple. As we go into the fourth quarter. We might have some guests joining us on the mic. So we got a back and forth game, lots of action, great plays. Notably, I would say for Team Purple, Sam Malugu definitely was back to back threes showing out. Came and Gross has been heating it up from the outside, and Jacob Drain is also showing showing the energy. 
for the Woodlawn Panthers. And joining us on the mic, we got grade 10, Armbre Osprey, co-rookie of the year, Treve Jones. Treve, I know you were thrilled to get on the mic tonight. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? <laughs> doing great, doing great. So you're watching watching the game. What was it like? What was it like to uh, be named uh, co-rookie of the year this year? First year, first year of uh, Div One high school basketball. Um, yeah, what was it? What was it like? Was that a goal of yours? This yeah, year? it was exciting. It it was, exciting. Yeah. yeah? How, where where were you when you got the news? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> were you in class? Were you at home? Um, I was at home. You're at home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a celebration there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, you're uh, you're part of a, a very talented uh, rookie rookie class. Um, obviously, uh, sharing sharing the award with another uh, great player that we're going to hear from, Traverius Carvey. You guys played together at the Y. Oh uh, yes, we did. Yeah. So was it okay? Was it okay to uh, to share the award with him? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No no fights or anything like that for. No. We got um. We both got co MVP for that too. Oh, really? For for YMCA. So yeah. you guys are just you guys just love sharing now, but yeah. not not on the court though. No. <laughs> what was uh, what was a highlight for you? Is it grade grade ten playing uh, playing high school basketball? A highlight was probably the first season of the game where I got my um, my first high school in game dunk. First high school dunk. Yeah. 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 That was a nice nice play by uh, Renai Beals. Right. It was off the <laughs> pick and roll. Yeah, you got some got some likes, got yep. some likes on on social media there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and uh, so what are what are what are the plans? What are the plans for uh, for for the summer here? The summer, um, I'm playing for Genesis, okay, um, UIBL Champions League, and yeah. YZ. Awesome, awesome. So a little bit of away, a little bit of home, yeah. hometown. And what what do you want to focus on individually? Individually, just. Um, improving on shooting and ball handling. Shooting and ball handling, being being versatile. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Treve Jones, six six five, trying to make him into a guard, little little forward guard. Next year is that is that is that what's going to be on the on the call next year? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Treve, you had a great, great year. Could have easily uh, been uh, been playing in in, in this game, um, but uh, I'm I'm sure uh, I'm sure many more all all star games going to be in your future. We'll, we'll we'll see your talents. Congratulations on co rookie of the year. All right, Thank you should you. be very very proud of yourself, and uh, and continue to get in the weight room, work on that ball handling. Yep. All right, thanks a lot, Treve. Thank you. <laughs> there you have it, Treve Jones from Armbre. Co rookie of the year, taking in the All Star game. Again, like I said, lots of lots of stars here that uh, might not have got the chance to to play in in this game. But uh, if you haven't checked out uh, Metro High School basketball, definitely do so as the league continues to get better. And so we got a 91-77 lead for Team Orange as Team Purple is trying to get back in this game as the Beckett, it's not the Beckett brothers, the Nadeau brothers are out as Ollie Nadeau gets uh, two points with the put back. In a moment, we'll hear from the other co-rookie of the year, Traverius Carvey. And up top, we got the Nadeau brothers. Little handoff, ball screen action, Carmichael. Inside to Omar Kalak from JL, and he gets it going with two points of his own. And Orange now still with a 10 point lead is Makeham with a step back, and that is smooth. Mid-range, Max Makem from Grammar, extending the lead to 12. And joining me now is the other co-rookie of the year, grade 10, Traverius Carvery. 
How you doing there, Travis? Thanks for uh, joining. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so, um, you got the news. Got the news. Co-rookie of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Where Where were you? How'd you feel when uh, when you're named uh, rookie of the year this year? Uh, I was at the gym and I I checked the Slack. We have like a team app we use, you know, to check uh, what our stuff is, what we got to do. Yeah. 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 Uh, Coach Alex got texted you, got me. Got you organized. He's yeah. got you organized. He texted yeah. me. He said, congratulations for being co-rookie of the year. And I was just, at the gym, I was happy. And I was putting up more work because even though I got that award, I was not satisfied yet. Cause of course. Of course. Yeah. No, like I, like I, was, like I was saying again, um, the high, high school league, the parity, the, the, the talent is definitely uh, getting better again yeah. with having to go co-rookie of the year of two um, two players, yourself and, and Treve, uh, very um, uh, very earned, very well earned. Yeah. But how was, how was your year? How was your first year of high school basketball? What was your first, what was your first highlight of uh, high school ball when you're like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing now for Citadel, grade 10. Uh, it was we went to a New Brunswick tournament, and that was our like that was my first like experience of playing with Citadel Citadel like for real like playing. Yeah. It was like I was hot. I was enjoying the game. I was enjoying everyone on the court, playing my t with my team, uh, clapping, high fives, just playing with my team. That was when I knew, oh yeah, Citadel, this is my team. Mm -hmm. This is this is where I belong. Awesome, awesome. You guys had a great great year. Yeah, going to the provincial final. Um, losing to to the cheetahs must be tough to be in this gym, yeah, <laughs> in the cheetah dome. Yeah. Um, but uh, but what was like that? What what, what was uh, that like playing in a provincial final in your first year? Uh, it was it was rough. Putting man. you on the spot. <laughs> Coming to the locker room after we lost, it was just so like heartbreaking seeing all my seniors down, heads down. Yeah. But I just had to go around tell them it's good, it's good. We're gonna get them back next year. Yeah. Because. There's always next year, so we're going to be back next Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Fuel, we'll, fuel to the fire. Fuel to yep. the fire. We're going to be back uh, better and better and better. We're going to get better each day tomorrow, uh, t uh, next year. My bad. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So what are the plans for the summer? I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm doing Just yet. Just putting in that work. Yeah. yeah. Putting in that work. What do you want to add to your game? Uh, need to get my defense better, my stamina, mm -hmm. and I'd say... Like, just being more a hustler, being more a dog. I feel like I'd be lazy sometimes getting back on defense because sometimes I get mad at the calls or yeah. <laughs> something that didn't go my way, and then I just get mad. Controlling the controllables, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Alex says that a lot to you. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, Traveris, it was awesome to have you. Uh, congratulations on, on the award. Uh, really looking forward to a bright, bright future uh, watching you in this, in this league. And... Uh, Definitely, definitely, you could be playing out here as well, right? Yeah. You know, so it's uh, it's, it's def definitely a testament to, to the league and the talent, uh, and best of luck this summer. All Thank right, you. can't can't wait to coach against you next year. Thank you. Thank We're you, coming. Coach. <laughs> Thank you. All right, with 4:44 left in the fourth quarter, three-point game. Finally, we got a timeout. As both coaches, Coach Plato from the Dalhousie Tigers and Dan De Palma, MSVU, getting out the board, talking to their players as we will have another burn burner. Don't know why that's a saying, but yes, burn burner. Anyway, it's a three-point game. Team Orange with the lead. Led by Cayman Gross, Jaden Lucas. Kanan Christmas has had some highlights tonight, as well as MVP Mason Thurber from the Cheetahs. And for Team Purple, got Jude Cameron, Paul Othlo, Bro Williams, Eamon Johnson, Sam Alugu. And it's looking like we got a little 1 2 2 press in the All Star game. I like it. It's getting intense. Nice bounce pass, Lucas to Christmas from deep, and that hits the back iron. Jude Cameron going down, hits Paul off low from three. Can't tie the game. Gross now skips it to Christmas. Back up to Makeham. Makeham 
Left to right, stops and pops, and that is looking nice. Five point lead for Team Orange. Johnson to Cameron. Left to right, nice fine. Ooh, quick trigger. So a five point game here, and Grouse and Thurber, a little miscue at the bucket. Bro Williams, gotta get the offense going nice, right to left, taking it to the hoop, and he's finding his offense at the right time for Team Purple. It's a three point lead for Orange. Lucas going right at Cameron, and he has an answer. The right hand off the window. Sam Alugu almost tied up. Nice double team. Williams for three. Can't connect. And make him slowing it down. Grouse calling the ball screen. Little two man action with Thurber. Grouse right to the hoop. Pretty to watch off the window for Cayman Grouse. Bro Williams. Right to left, nice hezzy. Miss Q looking for the back door with the night. Kane and Christmas. And Kane and Christmas at the charity stripe, looking to extend that lead. See if he can get it to nine. Kane Christmas, grade 12 student, Citadel, Phoenix. Great season this year. Helped get his team to a provincial final where they met the Cheetahs. And Christmas. Extends it to a nine point lead on Team Purple. 2.53 to go. Williams left to right, going right to the hoop. Skying in. Seven point lead, Team Orange. Grouse skips it. Christmas. Ooh, and this is exactly what Team Purple wants with Sam Alugo to the hoop, but Grouse. Picks it, almost a steal. Saved by the whistle. Sam Lugu looking in for Bro Williams. Looking at that three. Takes it right to the hoop, blocked by Thurber and Lucas and Christmas with the basketball to make him. Stolen by Cameron. Out in transition, Team Purple nicely done. Christmas to Lucas. To Grouse, to Thurber for three. Off the iron. And Beckett Nadeau, the grade 12 from Halifax West. Can't get it to connect. Seven point lead for Team Orange. Final minutes. Christmas from range. Rare miss for Christmas. Thurber back out to Gross. From distance. Can't hit. Cameron's gotta push it. Finds the dough with the left hand. And we got a five point lead for Team Orange. 115 left to go. Almost a travel by Christmas. Lucas in the corner, quick shot. Not what Coach Plato would like to see in the final seconds of the game, up five. But it's an all-star game and it's a heat check. Christmas to Lucas. Cameron. To Nadeau, can't get it to go. Lucas with the rebound to Grouse. 36 seconds, Grouse taking a right in to make him corner three. 
And the miss. Nadeau to Cameron. Steps it back. Back iron. And it's looking like Team Orange will walk away with the victory. Coached by Rick Plato. As Rick Plato adds another win to his resume. One that I'm sure he will never forget. Metro All-Star Game Division One boys action. Great game. The girls kicked it off at 3.30 and the boys as well continued with that competitive fire. So it was a joy for the fans to watch as the teams now congratulate each other on a fantastic season. Shout out to Maritime Profiles highlighting these all-stars. As that is it, John Tramble on the call. You can catch, catch me on the call with Alan April for the All-Atlantic All-Star Game in two weekends coming at you, I think April, second weekend in April, as it'll be held at the Huskies Stadium. And that is all for me. Everyone, get home safe, and congratulations to all the teams on a fantastic high school season. The future is bright here in Halifax. Good night. <laughs>